G'day, this is part two of the beer line cleaning videos I'm doing. Uh, if you need to, haven't seen part one on how to make this little duvalaki, I'll put the link down here now. Click on that and have a look. But besides that, here it is, ready to go. It's very easy, very quick, and saves you gas. Um, when you're worried about when you're rinsing the soap out of your lines and you're worried about that soap residue being there, and you're using a heap of gas, pushing all that water through. Well, you know, you're not using any gas using this method, and you can flush as much water through as you like. And that's one of the major benefits. I'll show you how to do it. It's very quick and easy. But I'll give you a look on how I do it anyway. So what I'm going to use today to clean my beer lines is sodium bicarbonate. It's 100% sodium bicarbonate. There it is there. For normal cleaning, it's uh, 30 grams for 10 litres. For beer lines, it's 30 grams for three litres. Now, 30 grams is one and a half dessert spoons. <laughs> it's probably about the same amount for your OxyClean. If you're going to use an OxyClean, this is the one I use sometimes, Dyson. That's from Aldi. Now, I've just got some warm water in a jug. I'm just going to pour the sodium bicarbonate in there. Just give it a stir just to make sure it gets a bit dissolved. It's a bit hard to stir it in the bottom of those uh, garden sprayers. The good thing about this uh, is it's, it doesn't really foam very much, which is good. Undo the I'm just going to top that up to three litres with warm water, not too hot. You don't want it too hot where it will make your hoses weak. You don't want boiling water, but you want, you know, warm water is not going to hurt at all. There we go, three litres. Screw the top back on. pump it up. Now you don't need to pump this up to you can't pump it anymore. You just need a bit of pressure in there, enough to force the cleaner through your lines. That's probably enough. So just open up the kegerator, grab a beer line. Now we should be right to go. Okay, match. There we go, the soap's coming through now. So just leave that for 10 minutes and we'll come back to it. So that's been 10 minutes, but what I like to do is run a bit more through just to clear the lines again. Open and shut the tap a few times just to make sure it gets into all the parts. You can of course open up your tap and clean it later. It's mainly for the lines. And I'll leave that another five minutes just to make sure it's got all that junk off. Okay, that's been another five minutes. Run some more through. That's coming out a lot cleaner. All right, I'm going to do the other side too. You don't need to see this. I'll be back after I've done the other side. So that's the other line clean. And both now. Now we just unhook it from the beer line, of course. And the next thing to do is just to empty this out. I only used used about a litre and a half. You can use this for something else, uh, but tip it out uh, and give it a good two or three rinses just to make sure there's no soap in there and then we're going to fill it up with just fresh water. 
Now I've given that a good few rinses out with the cold water, just fresh water. Give it a few pumps again. See if you're leaking. That's fine. And so you simply hook it up to your beer lines and give them a good flush out. What did I do? This one obviously. Same thing, open up and close the tap a few times. Get all the soap out that's been in there. And I don't know if you can see, probably not. But there is little bits of hop in the glass. So it works. I'll just do another glass. Of course, if your pressure gets too low, just give it a few more pumps. It saves a lot of gas. This is where, if you're paranoid about rinsing the soap out of your lines and you're using your gas, uh, well, you don't have to worry with this. You can run as much as you want through because you're not going to waste your gas. That's coming through clear now. But I'll still run a litre or so through. There's a little pump. Three pint glasses will do it, just to make sure. That's coming out crystal clear now. So that'll do for that side. I'll go ahead and do the other side the same. The only hint I'll give you, make sure you, you, you know which one you've taken off and which one you've put back on so you, you don't rinse out the same side twice and forget about the other one. Again, the first one comes out with some junk in it, which is good, means it's doing its job, and it means my wines need cleaning a while back. I've been a bit slack. Okay, that'll do for now. Now I just empty out the garden sprayer and put a, oh, probably put two litres of star sand in here. Will be plenty. Uh, I could probably do a little bit less, but um, that'll be enough to do the two lines. Okay. <laughs> You probably can't tell the difference, but now there's two litres of star set in there. You'll see it though. This one's a bit soapy. Oh, you probably can't see it through there. A bit of foam. Same procedure again. Up to your beer line. And just star set. Put a few pumps. line again. I would like a good guess. So the first few quarter of a cup will probably be just out of the lines and then the star sand will be coming through. And I can tell it is because it's starting to foam. So now I know the lines are full of star sand. It really only has a contact time of about 30 seconds of star sand. I'll leave it there for another five minutes, let the star sand do its thing. Do the other line the same, and then we'll be ready to go. The star sand. That line's done, that can uh, be hooked straight up to the keg now. And while I'm doing this second line here at Star Scene, I just wanted to mention, once you take off that, you know, first half a glass, there's nothing wrong with your Star Scene, all it's done is being flushed through a clean line, so if you really wanted to, you could uh, decant this from your tap off into a bottle and keep that Star Scene and use it again for something else. So that's your lines clean, so uh, all you gotta do is hook your beer lines back up.
So the beer lines and gas is hooked up. Just to clear the star sand out of the line. Doesn't take much. You'll know when the beer starts coming up. So there's the beer. Same with the other line. And that's enough. I wouldn't drink that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, on this side I've got my mild red ale. There you would have seen my brew, the all grain. And on this side is the chocolate stout, the chocolate vanilla stout extract. The red's looking that. Uh, it's not enough light in here to show. It looks dark. <laughs> it's red though, believe me. And that's the chocolate vanilla stout. Tastes better now the lines are clean. <laughs> now, I'll just give you a tip while you're here. Uh, once you've done that, and every time when you finish a drinking session, just spray some star scent, especially with these older style taps. Let's spray some star scent up into the, just to give it a rinse and stop bugs and flies and that wanting to get to it. You don't have to worry so much with the pearly uh, front forward ceiling taps or whatever they're called. Um, but you, I'd still suggest doing it anyway. You can buy end caps, but uh, if I had it outside I'd probably buy end caps. You're just little silicon caps you put over the end or you put a bit of sticky tape or something. But it's worth doing. Okay, so that's it. Very easy simple uh it's great it really is it's easier than buggerizing around with a keg um you know fair enough if you have to use that keg that day and you're filling it that day and you want it sanitized and cleaned fair enough but if you don't and you just want to do your lines there's not it doesn't get much easier than this it's really good it probably cost me about twenty dollars all up maybe a little tiny bit more um but only a couple of cents if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask Pop into Cellar Dweller, say good day, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And as I said, it really is worth it. It doesn't take long to make. It's a 10 minute job and it makes cleaning your lines a hell of a lot easier. Cheers.